So we do have a pitching change for the Tartans. Sakashio is out, and Forche is in on the bump. Final line for Sakashia is impressive in the sectional final. Through seven innings, gave up three runs. Only two of those were earned. Six hits, only walked two, but he did hit three batters. Ten strikeouts for the Tartan starter tonight. Oh, or excuse me, quickly, one and one against Branza, who's back in to hit for himself after Ramatar singled in the sixth inning. Branza will come back in and bat for himself now. Fouls one off, and now one and two. Going up against Forche. Is able to foul one off and just spoil it for now. So we're in the bottom of the eighth inning, tied three to three between Burn Hills and Scotia Glenville. Burn Hills need to score twice in the bottom of the seventh to get to this point. Tartans have a ten to six hit advantage so far. Orche works out of the stretch despite nobody being on base, and once again Branza will ruin it with a foul ball. Branza 0 for two on the night, two strikeouts. As we said, Ramatar came in and hit a single for him. In the bottom of the six, but the re-entry rule. Bob Rienz and Brack back up in this spot. Leading off here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Forche, a little curveball. Rienz is able to pop it down the left field line, but it's going to be out of the reach of Stewart down that left field line. Still one and two, three straight foul balls by Brienza. Watch I will Wildrick to start the inning for Scotia. This one's gonna sail high, two and two. So it's gonna be at least an eight pitch at bat for Brienza against the new bat or against the new pitcher for Scotia Glenville. Porsche set and comes to the plate. Ball outside. And the, pout, the count runs full, so nine looks at the new pitcher for the Spartans. Brianza, left-handed batter, waits for the right-handed Forche. Pitch on the way. Pop to left field. Should be an easy play out there for Stewart. He's underneath it and makes the catch for the first out of the inning. So David Russell, the catcher, comes up now. 0 for 3 on the night, two strikeouts, one back in the second, one back in the fourth, and he failed on a bunt attempt in the sixth inning. Ended up not hurting Burn Hills ultimately, but wanted to lay one down there, move the runners up, and failed to do so. First pitch bounced in by Forche. Again, the reliever working on his stretch the whole time. Comes set, and Russell puts one down the left field line. Got a pretty good hit on it. This one's going to be foul, though. And into the bushes down the right field line. Cheddar for Russell to move out of the way. Count goes to two and one. A little excuse me, swing and a grounder down to the third base. Throw across the diamond made by Wildrick and two men up, two men down for Burn Hills in the eighth inning. Skyler Myers comes to the plate. Myers this evening 0 for 3, struck out back in the third, ground out to the first baseman in the fifth, and he flew out to right field in the sixth. 
Another excuse me swing, but this one looks like it has eyes. Hits second base, and it's going to get Myers on with a two out single on his first hit of the night. So it brings it back around to the top of the lineup. Rob Knight, if he can find a spot for one in the gap, Myers might have the legs to get around the bases and win the game for Burns. Runner on first, two down, bottom of the eighth inning. First pitch to Knights is low for a ball. Makes it 1-0. and oh. Knights, two for four on the evening. Couple of singles. He singled and scored back in the third. Myers with a good lead, dives back in. No tag applied from Forche and first baseman Russo. Forche comes set. Myers is off with the pitch. Hit is going to be a flare out the left field. He's going to dunk it for a hit. Myers sees it in front of him, though. And he's going to have to wait at second base. He is in scoring position, though, as he moves up on the single by Knights. Brett Dennis comes to the plate for Burn Hills. So back-to-back -back singles for Burn Hills from the 9-1 and one hitters have set the table for Dennis. Two outs, though, as Burn Hills trying to get that winning run. The winning run carried by Skyler Myers out at second base. For Shea, ball on his hip, looks in for his sign. They're going to give the intentional pass to Dennis and put the game in Jason Sullivan's hands. Sullivan, two for two in his last two at-bats. Bases loaded now, two outs. Sullivan cranked a triple to dead center field his last time up and scored the game-tying run for Burn Hills in the bottom of the seventh inning. Two for four on the night with a single and a triple. Pitch from Forche down the middle, hit to the left side. As we handle by the third baseman, Wildrick, and we're going to go to the ninth inning, tied at three. The strategy pays off. Burn Hills comes up empty in the bottom of the eighth. So no runs on two hits. The bases were left loaded. We're headed to the bottom, or excuse me, the top of the ninth here at SaratogaCountySports.com.